guys welcome to this channel it's Max from the Max Creation. remember in today's video we are going to look at a question that has been asked to me in the comment section very many time, uh, times and what are we talking about uh, someone asked about uh, sponsorship uh, uh, change of sponsorship that is uh, changing from one company or one employer to another and also what are the transfer uh, tr sponsorship transfer fees or what we call the visa transfer fees who is supposed to pay those fees? Is it you, the person, the employee, or it's supposed to be your employer, your current employer, or what you call your former employer? What you call the visa transfer fees? Tune into this channel. Remember, when we are talking about transfer fees, first of all, something that you need to understand. Uh, when we look at the current the current laws that are in Qatar or that are being in Qatar is that you don't need an exit permit. You don't need one to, you don't need an exit permit to go out of the country. And still now that before we had what you call, you needed to present an NOC to move to another company. The NOC was also removed, meaning that the exit permit for you to exit the country, you do not need. It's never, it's not mandatory now. You do not need an NOC, what you call the no object certificate for you to change an employer what you need is a feeling residing from your your job uh, your current job getting an offer from a new employer who is willing to take you up then probably you can proceed with all the applications using what you call the ministry of labor uh, uh, systems that you need to, to transfer but remember most of the time when we are looking at transfer fees we cannot fail to mention what you call the procedure you first go have to go through what you call the normal procedures of changing first of all you need to notify your employer if you get someone who's prospect to take you up you need to notify your employer by either resigning and giving that what we call the actual notice period the actual notice period is for two years for people who are completed for more than two years uh, people who have completed for less than one year, uh, less than two years, you give a notice period of one month, and those that have completed more than one year, you give a notice period, you give a notice period of two months, that is according to what the labor law says. However, after getting through all those processes, you need to also, uh, you need to let the Minister of Labor also know, uh, uh, put in the required documents for you to know that you are changing uh, from one job to another, from one employer to another. However, something that some, sometimes when they're changing, people are changing job, they tend to fail to, to, to put in mind is what we call the non-competing clause or what you call the competing clause. I'll talk about that, the competing clause, and you de definitely understand what is all about the competing clause in changing uh, sponsorship from one uh, person to another. But in this case, after filling all those documents, out of filling, submitting all those documents, we get, we get the first notification, we get the second notification, then also we get approval to change. You are going to change from one employer to another. Remember, you are changing within the country. You are not getting a new visa, right? So you are changing within what you call the country. So meaning that you're going to still have the same Qatar ID. They only transfer your visa from the old one to a new employer. And in that situation, you are supposed to pay what you call the tra uh, visa transfer fees. But again, the question is that, who is supposed to pay the transfer fees? The transfer visa fees, who is supposed to pay that amount of money? Remember, as when you look at the labor law, there are different visa transfer fees for all employees and companies trying to do the, 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 the moving from one end to another. And those are applicable. But again, in this case, as you, you are being given a job by a new employer, the question is, who is supposed to pay? Remember, when we are talking about this, when we are talking about jobs in the Gulf, jobs in Qatar, jobs in the UAE, jobs in the Oman and other countries, we talk about the good companies and the bad companies. Yet, definitely, we cannot fail to mention that it is something that really exists, the good and the bad companies. What are the bad companies we are talking about or what are those good companies we are talking about? Remember, if someone is going to take you up, he's willing to take in all, he's willing to pay up, he's willing to pay up that amount of money. So if it's a good company that is going to take you up, it will, it will definitely get to table on you and tell you, I'll pay up the transfer fees, I'll pay the visa up fees for you, then you'll transfer to my company. There are those bad companies that will say, no, we shall pay for you the transfer fees. After transferring, we shall be deducting that amount of money 
periodically every month or month per a given amount until we recover up that amount of money remember for a company which is transferring you to a new visa what it cannot pay for is what we call those what we call those uh, um, penalties that you've gotten for example if you got a penalty of not wearing masks those ones are transferring to your id so if the new employer is transferring your id when you have those penalties like you don't have mask maybe driving license had a problem and all those put on your id it will be eligible for you to pay them it will not be your current employer your current employer can only assist you in the, assist you pay what you call the visa transfer fees to the new company and still your employer your current employer as is trying to to shift from the old visa visit uh, moving from the old visa to the new he can also pay for you what you call the id fees because remember you may want you may have to pay the id fees and that id fees, fees it depends if your id is about to expire let's say for example you are changing and this time you are moving when your id is expired at that time they need to renew your id he needs to pay up a given amount of money at that case but however something that you need to note that your employer your current employer is not going to pay for the penalties that you incurred on your Qatar ID. For example, if your Qatar has your Qatar ID has incurred penalties of not wearing mask, uh, penalties of uh, traffic, uh, any other penalties that may be accorded to your ID, that will be your role. It will be your charge to pay as an employee, not your employer. Your employer can only pay up the transfer trans the visa transfer fees and can only pay up the what we call the Qatar Qatar ID change it's only that you can pay but it also depends on what you call the good companies and the bad companies and those companies that may not be willing to pay for that and they may say we are, yes we are giving you we are changing for you we are doing everything for you but definitely you have to you have to 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 pay up or we shall pay for you then after you starting your normal work then we shall be scathingly being deducting that amount of money from the end of it all but something that i need still also to let you know that apparently for the recent the recent information i have is that the visa transfer fees is uh, 2300 uh, 2350 all right some people some employer who are willing to pay you and to deduct the money later may ask for 2500 because that is what they charge by the government all right then also when you look at id renewal id renewal is at a charge of 1250 qatari yeah that is for the id renewal if you are changing at one way or the other. however we may be talking about this as we're talking about analysis what about what is the government saying or what does the labor law say what does the government say as to pilots regarding changing first of all i'll get through what you call sponsorship change for the first time you pay qatari qatarial 2000 for companies and Qatarial you pay 1000 that is for individual for the first sponsorship change for sponsorship change for the second time the company will pay 2500 then for an individual will pay 1500 that is you are changing for the second time then if you are going to change for the third time if the sponsorship change for the third time that means the government needs to pay three thousand kataria and if the, you as an individual you are changing for the third time you pay two thousand something that you need to notice around here for individual change uh, per sponsorship per a different time or di different uh, interval is that there's an increase of 500 at that time so that's what you need to understand a little bit so for that one so a person who asked me a question the company can be good and can pay for you that charges there is another company that can say i'll do all the paperwork i'll finish i'll do everything i'll get this virus code but when i pay for you you'll have to pay back the money when you start doing work hope that is right Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you for much for subscribing and supporting. If you so far same come across this channel, consider hitting that notification bell. You will always be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again next video.